Meteorologist Andrew Shipley, because those warnings are out there for a reason, even right now, well in the high 80s. Well, I have to say, as somebody that grew up in Jersey and lived in Oregon, <laughs> yes. this is why you have someone pump your, their gas for you because it's too hot to get out of the car to do it. That's just my <laughs> opinion. See, That's my opinion. <laughs> but uh, it is still pretty hot out there, even at this hour uh, at uh, 90 degrees, Naples 89 in Fort Myers, 86 there in Cape Coral. And with the humidity still feeling like the triple digits on Sanibel, Fort Myers, as well as in Naples at this time. Time. Even Punta Gorda, 103 uh, at this time. But uh, let's take a look in Boquilla uh, here tonight. Uh, pretty quiet, at least out there. But you notice uh, those uh, leaves on the on the palm tree there, really not moving a whole lot, and uh, that means the air is pretty stagnant out there tonight with all that humidity uh, going on. It's gonna be very slow to cool things off. In fact, uh, I'm only going 80 degrees, and we're not gonna get there until about six o'clock in the morning. And that by that point, well, the sun's coming up. And we're heating on up uh, for the rest of the day. Check out temperatures tomorrow. Uh, 98 degrees Arcadia, 97 Punta Gorda, Fort Myers, 97 as well. Uh, 96 down in Marco, Mar Moore Haven, LaBelle, LaMockley, all 96 degrees. And then you add in humidity. We're talking 110, 115, maybe some folks Maybe as high as 116 Golden Gate. Yeah, I wouldn't be uh, writing that off. Uh, we are looking at very hot temperatures, uh, especially in the feels like department tomorrow. That's why we do have excessive heat warnings. Collier, Henry, Glades County uh, heat advisories. Lee County, Charlotte, Soto, Sarasota County, all this till 7 o'clock tomorrow evening and could get extended even further than that. Uh, as for sky conditions, well, we're looking at plenty of sunshine in the morning. That doesn't help us in the heat department, but what might, well, maybe it's a few showers. Unfortunately, if you're not in Collier County, we're not going to see as much of that wider spread stuff. I think a little bit better chance Collier County, inland Henry County for you as you get towards the afternoon. The further north you get and towards the coastline, the less chance you're going to see much on terms of the rainfall. And then you see already six o'clock, it tapers on off uh, pretty much for the rest of the night. Now, there is a little bit better chance of some rain showers on Wednesday, jumps to 70%. Uh, but we're pretty much going to be seeing that fluctuate in about 40, 50% through the end of the week and then better rain chances heading in towards uh, the weekend there for you. But still keeping that humidity up right around an average of about 109, 110 degrees each and every day. So don't be surprised if we continue to see those heat advisories out there as well. As for the tropics, good news there at least. Nothing really going on that we're watching. No tropical development expected over the next couple of days. Now there's still some tropical waves out there, but we are seeing these really surrounded by Saharan dust uh, coming off of Africa. So we really don't expect uh, too much of these uh, systems to develop here anytime soon as we continue uh, to see a lot more dust uh, moving across. As for the seven day forecast, so above normal temperatures is the story each and every day, even when we call off a few degrees or Sunday, Monday, still staying above that average of 92.